Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to share with you three handmade watercolor palettes I got on Etsy. I wasn't really planning on getting any handmade watercolors. I just didn't see the point in getting handmade paints since there are so many established brands on the market with really good quality and prices. But one day I was on Etsy looking for something else and stumbled upon a cute small palette and fell in love. It was on sale and overall pretty inexpensive for a handmade product so I thought I would try it. Shortly after getting this one I got another one in the next shop update. And this is the one I am unboxing here. These paints are from a small shop based in Germany. The paint in the set is poured into handmade ceramic mini pens. The packaging is completely eco-friendly with lots of recycled materials. I will leave a link to the shop in the description box below the video. This set also comes with a small, very cute ceramic palette, which is also handmade. When I was watching these, I fell in love with the colors too. They are creamy and smooth, many are more muted, which is what I love. The colors don't seem like standard colors you would be able to get from a bigger brand, apart from a couple standard colors like ultramarine blue. After switching all three palettes, I've noticed that handmade watercolors have a different feel to them. They seem to be heavier and often more creamy. I really love how they feel. To me, it's like something between watercolor and gouache. I wasn't really planning on getting more watercolors. I feel like I have enough and then some. I don't have all the colors I would love to have. I still have a couple of granulating paints on my wish list, but I'm not going to buy any additional colors. It felt good investing in two small and female-owned businesses, but I'm on a watercolor no-buy from now on. And by the way, the set comes in a vintage tin, which is a really special thing to have, I think. And here's the first set that I got originally on Etsy, which was reduced and got me into a handmade watercolor buying craze. It also has paint poured in these mini ceramic half pans and this tiny speckled ceramic palette. And now we are moving on to the third and last palette. This one was designed by a handmade watercolor maker SC Co on Etsy and Instagram in collaboration with an artist and illustrator Tijana Lukovic. She's on Instagram as Tijana Draws. I will link both Instagram accounts below the video. This one has a completely different selection of colors. Uh, Tijana often uses moody and muted colors in her illustrations and that's how she chose these colors. This set included a handmade ceramic palette alongside a few tiny prints of illustrations done with the colors included in this palette. In the box I also found some swatches and a beautiful brush rest. 
If you liked the video so far, I would greatly appreciate it if you would hit the like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments uh, below if you have any handmade watercolors and if not, if you consider trying them yourself. As you can see the color palette is very moody and vintage, but I was still able to paint some florals with it. At the end of the video I will show you the whole page filled with vintage florals. I loved using these paints, however they have a slight issue of rubbing off the page. My guess is that there is not enough binder in them. They are very pigmented and easy to re-wet. They don't feel like your standard watercolors from the big brands. They're heavier and don't flow that well. For a moody landscape or vintage florals, they're great. The rubbing issue could probably be solved with a fixative, so I'm not really worried about that. I should probably also mention for all the granulation lovers out there that these paints are granulating. This blue I chose for my first floral had a strong black granulation. Thank you for staying so far into the video. As I will be traveling next week, I thought I would show you how I choose my art supplies for travel and will hopefully be able to share some footage from the travel itself in my next video. I'm going to Greece for a week, so I'm excited to squeeze in at least a little bit of landscape painting in my sketchbook. Let me know if it would be interesting to you and of course if you have any topic suggestions for my future videos, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon! Down by the river all through the night Watching the stars